Last time on Total Drama Action. In a world they didn't create, two honorable warriors and two irrepressible foes battled for kung fu supremacy. No mountain was too high. No obi sash too tight. In the end, Harold won the reward. But Courtney had an even bigger victory winning Beth over. But it's gonna take more than a puny alliance to survive this week on Total Drama. Action! The moment that I'm doing fine You guys are on my mind You asked me what I wanted to be And now I think the answer is plain to see I want to be in my way I'll get there one day Cause I wanna be famous na 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 I wanna be I wanna be famous na na I wanna be I wanna be I wanna be famous My back. Ah, oh, what's with the mattresses? Are they filled with rocks or something? Maybe I filled Duncan's mattress with rocks, and maybe I didn't. But yeah, <laughs> I totally did. Can you believe these guys, Beth? What a bunch of Neanderthals! <laughs> Good morning, cast. Or should I say, good middle of the night. Hope you're all well rested and ready to boldly go where very few men and even fewer ladies have gone before. Wait a sec. I could have sworn we already did caveman movies. We did, Harold, but we had to reuse the costume since my astronomical salary accounts for, oh, roughly 97% of the show's budget. Aw, oh, dude, it's the middle of the night. And I was having the best dream about a bottomless deep dish pizza. Sorry, Owen. While today's movie genre may start at the dawn of time, it quickly moves up, up and away. Oh, I get it now. We're doing outer space movies. What was your first clue, genius? I think splitting off from the guys and forming a girl alliance with Courtney is really paying off. I mean, you heard her, right? She called me a genius. Ooh, this is so exciting! I love sci-fi! Don't you get enough science fiction with that imaginary boyfriend of yours? What's his fake name again? Brainy? It's Bray D. And he's totally real. Listen up, space cases. You'll soon be facing some out-of-this-world challenges. But first, I have a very special surprise for you. Each of you has received one special item sent to you from the outside world, which by now must feel like a distant planet. Ooh, what I get? <laughs> what I get? A citizen of the school year trophy? Let me see that. Awarded to the most trusting, caring, honest student who always puts others before himself. Excuse me. <laughs> What's his problem? More importantly, why didn't I get one of these? Ever since Chris brought me back to cause mischief and stir up trouble for cash, I feel like I'm living a lie. Well, because I am. Sabotaging my friends makes me feel so dirty. But my family needs the money. <laughs> Anxiety gas. <gasps> it's from Brady! As if. My nunchucks! Awesome! Oh, <gasps> What is that? Just... I need a minute. When I was head of the school debating team, my partner walked out on me during the biggest debate of the year because she felt I wasn't being a team player. I went on to win it without her. Take that, Brittany Reed! This photo is a reminder. If you want something done right, you do it 
yourself! Scruffy! <laughs> Dude, that's one small dog. It's not a dog, it's a tarantula. Oh, I love you, Scruffy. Mm -hmm, yes, I do. Aren't tarantulas like the fourth most deadly spider in the world? They're only dangerous when they're startled by loud noises. No way! Ah! Get it off, get it off, get it off! Scruffy, no! Bad killer spider. Ow! Ah! Ow! Ow! Oh! Look, everyone! Brady gave me a promise ring. Can you believe it? Nope. Not even remotely. Wait. Is that a candy ring? Did somebody say candy? I thought your boyfriend was a model. Aren't, like, models rich? Brady says it's a sweet ring for his sweet lady. Looks more like a breakup ring to me. If it was lime green, then maybe Courtney would have a point. But this is cherry, and everyone knows that cherry is the flavor of love. All right, gang, time to blast off to the great unknown. Everyone knows a good outer space movie has three things in common. One, the zero gravity is always a trip. Two, the G-forces are killer. And three, everything is recycled in space, including number one and number two. Ew! Cool. Which brings us to our first challenge. I'll meet you at the Thrill Ride set in 10 minutes. Huh? What? Did he say Thrill Ride? The way to achieve zero gravity is to fly a jet on a parabolic course with large vertical climbs and even larger vertical drops. But with the price of jet fuel today, we're gonna simulate the effect on this makeshift space shuttle, which will hit the optimum speed needed to keep you all in a perpetual state of zero gravity. Um, have I mentioned my fear of heights and falling and floating in midair at heights that could result in falling? Is that even up to code? Your first outer space challenge will be to spend the rest of the night on the shuttle sleeping in zero gravity conditions. That doesn't sound so tough. Y'all might want to hold on to something that's bolted down, because we're almost ready to launch. Yes! He said launch, not lunch. Aww. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me... Huh? This is awesome! All right, astronauts, it's gonna be a long night. Better get some sleep. If you can. <laughs> Duncan? Can I have your pillow? Mine floated off somewhere. No can do, babe. Already gave it to Scruffy. Zero G's can be tough on the little guy. As if I'm going to play second fiddle to a tarantula. Ugh! I hate that gross, hairy creature. And his pet spider, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boy, you have it good, Beth. Your snack is stuck to your fingers, so <laughs> you don't have to go chasing after it. Just one of the many pluses of being a kept woman. So, uh, are you gonna finish that? I think you're making a mistake being exclusive to one guy. Why tie yourself down when you can keep playing the field? Like moi? OMG! Harold is so crushing on me. That's the power of a ring on the finger. All guys want what they know they can't have. <sighs> this is Can you have a problem? You've been hit by an and your guidance system is toast! What do we do? What do we do? I just saw this in Race to Save Space 3. We have to manually override the navigation system. Quick, someone grab the joystick thingy. Whoa, uh, 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 whoa. Uh. Way to go, Harold! Nice job! I'm evil. Evil! Uh-oh, looks like you have a hole in your fuselage. <laughs> you have exactly T minus 10 minutes to plug the hole, or you'll run out of precious oxygen. There, there, Scruffy. 
I got you, little buddy. We have to plug the hole! Quick, find something big and form-fitting! Hefty yet pliable! What? Why are you looking at me like that? Girl Alliance? Girl Alliance! Well, Harold? Aren't you gonna offer to help me down? Wasn't planning on it. Ah, <sighs> he so wants me. That was smart, sealing the breach with those two pillows. Uh, Chef, those aren't pillows. Oh, oh, the breeze tickles. Oh, stop it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, ladies. It was your quick thinking that saved the group. Yes! Score one for the girl alliance. Right, Courtney? Yay for us. As a reward, you'll both get to decide the order of who goes first to last at the next challenge. Ooh, I know. Let's you and I go first. That way we can... Uh, yeah, we've decided, Chris. The order will be Harold, Owen, Duncan, Beth, and last but not least, me. I'm going last, so I can watch the others try the challenge and fail. That way, I can learn from their mistakes. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no sucker. messing around. All right, gang, if you thought spending the night in zero G's was a stomach-churning experience, then you're gonna love this next challenge. Who can last the longest on the G-Force Trainer? Or as I like to call it, the Vomit Comet! <laughs> if you thought you were under pressure before, wait till you feel the effects of four times Earth's gravitational force. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have gorged on chili for lunch. Yeah, that may have been a bad call. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Maybe just one more bowl. Remember, crew, Courtney and Beth have already picked the order. Harold, you're up first. Awesome. I'd hate to be going last in something called a vomit comet. Thanks for taking one for the team, Courtney. Too late. The order is set. Is this the part where I thank you? This is exactly what I tried to warn Courtney about. But would she listen? No! And now we're both in trouble. Our girl alliance is off to a very shaky start. Have a nice spin, Harold. Hey! Where, where'd Scruffy go? Five point six seconds. That is just sad. Oh. Harold, for the last time, I'm off the market. Am I doing the right thing? I thought I was, but now that I see the pain I'm putting Harold through, I just don't know anymore. He's like a little lovesick puppy. It's kind of pathetic, but in an endearing way. If I was the last man alive in space, and Beth was the last woman, then maybe we'd have a chance. But here on Earth? Please! Think about how disappointed Lashana and Heather would be. I just can't do that to the ladies. Where's my Scruffy? better place now. Yeah, anywhere but here. Now maybe Duncan will focus on someone with slightly less hairy legs. Me! Yeah, I'm pretty broken up, but in a way I'm relieved too. It's not always easy knowing the cute little creature lying next to you at night could suddenly kill you in your sleep. Well, I guess I won't need the sleep of the baseball bat under my pillow anymore. Give me one good reason not to beat you to a pulp. Ah! 
Yeah. Yes. I knew my mind powers would kick in when I needed them most. It's that stupid mattress. I still have a stabbing pain in my back. Who stabbed you in the back? It wasn't me. I'm a good guy. Not some dirty backstabber. I swear. You gotta believe me. <laughs> um, nothing to see here. Carry on. I'm not cut out for a life of crime. The guilt is eating away at me faster than the chili through my stomach lining. I'd quit, but I need the cheddar. Someone's gotta pay for all that family cheese. All right, Owen, you're next. Harold sucked, but managed to keep his lunch down, so at least you'll have a dry run. Second. You people stink at this. Duncan, you're up next. Oh. Speaking of stinking, what is that smell? Hey, I'm no math whiz, but I'm pretty sure that one small space times chili farts to the power of 10 equals do not enter at all costs. Seconds. Most impressive, Duncan, my man. But I'm deducting 10 seconds for puking. Ugh, that was totally disgusting. How could you do that to me? At least the ride snapped my spine back into place. No more pain. Wanna bet? It's down to you two. Beth, your slightly soiled chariot awaits. If we both refuse to do the challenge, then we'll have strength in numbers at the elimination ceremony. You're with me on this, right, Beth? If I can take the plunge and say yes to Brady, then surely I have the strength of will needed to climb into a vomit-coated spacesuit and get hurled around like a rag doll for five minutes. They're practically the same thing, right? What's it gonna be, Beth? Um, the Girl Alliance is sticking together, Chris. We're both refusing to participate. I'll do it! <gasps> Seconds, a new Vomit Comet record! That wasn't so bad. Once I got past the crippling smell and the squishy feeling between my toes. That was the sickest thing I've ever seen. I'm impressed. Oh. You totally reek. That's just the smell of victory. Victory smells a lot like vomit. <laughs> you made your point, Harold. I'm calling it off with Brady and giving us a try. Oh. Brady and I were never meant to be. I'd return the ring, but... Last chance, Courtney. Ride the Vomit Comet now, or risk a ride in the limousine later. Uh-uh. No way. I forfeit. Well then, in light of Beth's willingness to get her feet wet, so to speak, I declare her the winner of today's challenge! Yes! Hope y'all like gumbo! <laughs> you deserved it for being Wow, the girls are really going at it in there. Yeah, it's the Astro Hot versus the Astro Not. I love a good cat fight. I too love a good cat fight, but one with real cats who wear tiny boxing gloves. I can't believe you went against me like that! You deserved it for being so mean and bossy towards me! Oh, well, if that's how you feel, the Girl Alliance is over! Fine! Fine! As usual, I'm better off on my own. There's no team in I! So from now on, it's the Courtney Alliance. And I'm in it to win it! Yo, yo! What's up, H-Man? What's it to you, traitor? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's a traitor? If that's even a real word. I've been doing some calculations, and you were the only person not accounted for at the time of the fuselage malfunction. Care to tell me where you were? You can't fart your way out of this one, Owen. Feeling guilty about something? Oh, man. I'm sorry I asked. Math never lies, but apparently Owen the traitor does. Hi-ya! And five 
five shall soon become four as we bid farewell to another cast member. Everyone, cast your votes. This'll teach you to mess with my scruffy. Bye-bye, traitor. Harold on to me, I know it. The girl alliance is over. Back off. There's a reason this is called secret voting, people. And the Gilded Chris goes to Beth, Owen, Duncan, and Courtney. Sorry, Harold. Your limousine awaits. <gasps> Get on with it, Doris. I kind of had that coming. Fifth place? But Owen's the traitor. You gotta watch that guy like a hawk. No, wait, a falcon. Their eyesight is way superior. Goodbye, Harold. I'll wait for you. Haven't I suffered enough? We'll see about that. And you'll see how our remaining contestants suffer next time on Total Drama. Action!